Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Reed Styles. I'm an engineer, an MBA student. My channel has a lot of efficiency hacks. This is a product review video. And also, if you're interested, I have my bullet journal, my minimalist bullet journal videos out there for everyone to see as I go throughout the year. I also have a brand new website, stylesguide.com. So if you would, just check it out. You can also input your email to get all of my future updates. And of course, this is a YouTube video, so please, I'd love to have a subscription from you so you can get the most up-to-date videos. Uh, the past month, I received 100 subscriptions, so thanks everyone. Hope to keep that going. Also, if you, liking the video and commenting are great ways to interact with me, and it helps. It's a free way to help all these videos, so thank you so much. So today, I want to talk about engineering paper. I made this little chart as a brief overview. I know, you know, I talk about efficiency all the time, so I just want to make sure that if you're highly efficient and don't want to sit through the entire video, here's the breakdown of what I found whenever I went to Amazon. So I went to Amazon and tried to find as many different engineering paper notebooks as I could. And I have it ranked by the brand, the number of sheets in the notebook. I tried to find the smallest one possible. And then I have the price per sheet broken down. This number down here is the total cost with Amazon Prime shipping. And then the lightness, the lowest number is the lightest. The highest number is the darkest. Uh, I'll talk about that later. And then if it has a cover or no cover uh, based on, and a few notes about it. Like for instance, this one's edge to edge grid. All the other tablets have just this blank border like this. And then finally, there was one I found that was using mostly recycled paper. So there's a little bit of premium there. But if that's something that's important to you, it's also on the list. As always, all of these products can be found in the comments section below. So look below, and there will be links to all of these tablets, and you can look for yourself. So quickly, I'm going to run through the different tablets, kind of what's different about them, and you know just which ones I like the best. So I have this stack of notebooks. As you can see, uh, they're all different sizes. They're a little bit different tints, a little bit different colors, and different lightnesses. So once again, I've broken it down to this simple table that you can see again. I'll leave it kind of down here in the bottom part of the screen, so hopefully you can see it the whole time. All right, so I'm going to go over quickly the different brands, the different features, and I'm going to go over my picks for my favorites. So I've got this chart lined up tops with tops, Ampad with Ampad, tops with tops, national brand, Roaring Spring, Roaring Spring. So hopefully you get an idea for which sheet corresponds to which of the of the grid so you can easily see which one you would be buying next to each other. Um, the tops, Ampad, uh, they both have the same color. They're both like this super light green, almost white color. And the grid is pretty light, and the five points are pretty light. So if you don't mind having the super light pages, then I would recommend the Ampad or the Tops. Now, when you break it down on a per sheet basis, this is based on Amazon with Prime Shipping, the Ampad is actually the cheapest. So almost 40 cents cheaper. And also, I they both have covers. Um, for the most part, I would just go with the Ampad. They look the same, and it's the cheapest. Now, if edge-to-edge -edge grid is important to you, as you can make out on this tops, they actually have the grid that goes all the way to the side, whereas normally it's blank. I actually don't want that. So that's why I would X off this one for me personally. But if you want the edge-to-edge -edge grid, then you do pay a premium for some reason on Amazon. I'm guessing out of popularity and out of competition. So the next one would be the national brand. It has a completely unique color. It's kind of yellowy, and the five squares are extremely visible. Like you can see where the five point is so simply. So if that's something that's important to you, then maybe you go with this one. What I don't like about it is it has all this text on the side of every page. I have no idea why. That does not, I don't want that right there. Like I don't like that. Um, I can see the back of the, of the actual pad if I want to see what brand it is. It also has no cover. So when I say no cover, I'm just talking about a sheet on the very front that is kind of like a little bit thicker and maybe a little bit more protective. 
for me, I mean, I, I, if I get a cover, great. If I don't, great. So I might as well have it versus not having it. So I've noted that over on the side so you can see as well. Then finally, we have the Roaring Spring. The Roaring Spring is a completely different color than any of the four previous. It's it's probably the best one. I like, I like that it's a, a little bit darker. It's really easy to see where the five points are on the grid. And overall, it's just really good paper. Now you're paying a premium for it. So you're paying 11, you know, 11 cents a sheet. So if you can afford to do the, the you know, nearly double the price, then go for it. Um, I do think that Roaring Spring is the best. Uh, it doesn't have a cover and unless you go with the Enviro Notes. So the Enviro Notes is recycled paper and it has the cover. So if you want to pay a little bit extra, and you know, and recycled paper is something that you're you're very interested in, and you don't mind paying the premium, then I would say that the number one is either the Roaring Springs or the Ampad. So if you're going budget, you don't really care, you just want engineering paper. Um, I would I would go with the Ampad. And if you're if you do want to spend a little bit more, and you want a little bit more premium product, then go with the Roaring Springs. The National Brain has a unique color, but once again, I'm not interested. It has the writing on the side, so I'm actually I'm actually happy that I've got this Enviro Notes and also the Ampad. So just wanted to reiterate that if you liked the video, if you found it useful, then please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, like it, and if you have a question, comment, and I'll get back to you. So thank you so much, and hope you enjoyed the video.